What is up, my good friends, and welcome to episode 72 of Closet Games Age of Engineering series. That is right. How are you doing today? Uh, last episode, we wrapped up. Uh, we just made our atomic multiplier. That's right, because uh, we're kind of working our way towards the old creative vending upgrade. And uh, we're going to need the atomic multiplier um, for creating lots of different things. Um, mainly these creative capacitor banks, which take chaotic cores. Uh, we don't want to kill the Chaos Dragon every time we need the Chaotic Shard, so uh, we've got the old Atomic Multiplier, which we can uh, we can multiply lots of things with. That's pretty good. Um, that's just going to sit in our in our normal world, sort of looking cool and uh, being smart and stuff. But um, today, what I want to focus on is uh, the old Creative Vending upgrade and the other bits and pieces that we need. So, uh, you know, a few episodes ago, we focused on... The, uh, the different gases that we need for our uh, creative gas tank. Um, and the middle one that we missed out, um, it says empty, but it actually needs something called DT fuel in it. And DT fuel is uh, it's not too bad to make um, because it's made of uh, deuterium and tritium. Now tritium is what I'm looking at at the moment, which is, uh, so I've started draining out these different tanks over here. So if you remember, this one was water. And uh, this one is brine. I'm just uh, letting this fill up with brine now. Uh, I've got quite a bit of brine in there, actually. We're doing really well on the old brine. Um, and I've got it disconnected. So uh, all processing is offline, just for a moment anyway, uh, because what we need to do is we need to make uh, some tritium, which is this stuff. And uh, tritium is made using lithium. Uh, you can get lithium in, an, in well, two different ways. Uh, so you can either use the old solar neutron activator method, which um, which requires uh, lithium dust uh, from IC2 or lithium dust from mechanism. Lithium dust from IC2 uh, is small piles of lithium dust in a thermal centrifuge, which um, is a quite a slow and painful method because it makes uh, one and then you need nine per lithium dust and you need quite a lot of lithium dust to make the tritium that we need um, and the lithium liquid lithium that we need so um, there's another way that you can do it uh, you can get liquid lithium by running brine back through um, a thermal evaporation chamber uh, which gives you liquid lithium which is pretty cool and then you turn that liquid lithium into normal lithium using a concentrator and then that gives you lithium back. So that is the method that I'm going to do. Um, and I'm going to repurpose the one that I've already got. Um, well, not repurpose. I'm just going to borrow it for a little while. Um, now, I'm not sure how much of this brine stuff that we need. But what I do know is that I need to fill up one of these uh, basic gas tanks with it. Uh, with uh, DT fuel, that is. Um, so I'm thinking that... I probably need at least, hmm, well, we need, um, let me just check something. We need two of these creative gas tanks. So we're going to need at least 64,000 millibuckets or 64 buckets of, uh, of DT fuel to get this to work. Um, so if we, if we look here, we've got quite a lot of brine there. And I think that gives you a one-to-one -one ratio of liquid lithium. So if I stop this now, if I um, disconnect this guy here, then what will happen is the water will drain out of this ever so slowly. Yes, good. The water's draining, good. Um, that will carry on making the brine for a few more minutes. Then what we can do is we can reverse this into here. That will put the brine in this side and then it will create lithium out of this side and then the, we can pump the lithium out of there and into this one. How does that sound? Does that sound like a plan? Um, so what I need is I need um, probably some conduits of some sort. And there's something up with this. There's something up with this. It keeps uh, crapping out on me. It keeps saying it's losing power, which is uh, which is not good. So I'm not going to touch this yet. I'm just going to wait for the water to drain out, and then uh, and then we can crack on with it. Um, the other half that we need for um, the DT fuel is uh the is it the deuterium yeah, yes deuterium the deuterium is made by using heavy water heavy water in an electrolytic separator separated into deuterium and oxygen 
So that is not too bad. Um, so what I propose we do actually is, whilst we're waiting for that to drain a little bit, um, let's go and have a look back inside Closet Chem. Uh, so here we are. This is the power generation room, isn't it? This is the uh, this is the ore processing room. As you can see, it's all offline. Um, what I've done over this way is I have uh, created another room by uh, decommissioning the void more the the void miner that was here. Uh, because we don't really need it because all of our sulfur is being uh, produced by the blazes our little blaze farm that we've got over here that is pretty cool um, so we don't really need this area anymore so I thought I'd repurpose this and this is going to be for the remainder of our creative gases and then maybe some of the creative liquids as well so um, for the creative liquids uh, we need a few bits and pieces biodiesel we've done empowered oil we might need to do that uh, vapor of levity, short mead, um, and icy two hot coolant as well. We might do all of those over here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, especially around um, the one that I'm not really sure of is the icy two hot coolant. If you know how to make that one, because I don't think we'll get around to making that today. If you know how to make that one, then uh, then leave me a me leave me a little message in the comments and let me know. I'll be much appreciative. Um, see, look, this no power. Why? Why with the no power? It's really bugging me, and you just keep. I keep tapping the shortcut and then eventually it will come up. There we go, look. And it works. And it takes a few seconds. I'm not sure. It's probably to do with chunk loading. I think I'm at like max chunk loading at the moment. Let's have a look. Claim chunks. Loaded chunks, 50 of 64. Hmm. I don't see what the problem is. I don't see what the problem is. Unclaim all chunks. No, I don't want to unclaim all chunks. Um, I will work with it, don't worry. Uh, so what we need um, to, in order to make deuterium anyway, we need heavy water, and you get heavy water. Jesus Christ! Stop doing this. Um, you need heavy water, and heavy water. Uh, it doesn't really give you much of a clue about how to make heavy water, but the way that you do it is uh, you get a mechanism pump. Um, so let's have a look. Mechanism pump, and in fact. Uh, let's uh, get rid of this for a minute. Let's go uh, at mechanism pump. Okay, so we need one of these, uh, which is not too bad. It's some enriched alloy and some osmiums and some stuff and some things. So maybe we can make one of these. Yes, electric pump. Um, and we're probably going to want, uh, well, we're definitely going to want actually um, a filter for our pump. Uh, because the filter separates water from heavy water. So let's get a mechanism filter, one of these guys, filter upgrades. Nice. So we need that. We also need to give this guy some power. Luckily, I've run some power underground. Um, but we're also going to need um, a water bucket as well. Uh, so let's get um, one of these. And I think we only need one, actually. Uh, but maybe we should, uh, maybe we should get couple so we can make an infinite water source um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this pump we're going to put it where should we put it <laughs> where should we put this guy um, let's uh, let's make some space around here let's have him coming up like here yeah and then we can put the water here I'm not sure if I need to make an infinite water source for this because I'm pretty sure that these pumps don't actually affect the water source block underneath. I think they don't. Um, they don't interfere with it. I think they just need to be near it. Okay, that looks good. Fine. Um, and let's just quick one of these quickly and go like this. Now, what we need to do is we need to put the uh, filter in there like that. Okay, so that will uh, that will work. What we need to do is to get rid of this. We need to give this guy a little bit of power. Have I got any universal cable? I've got some. See, look, it's not working. It's not working properly. It'll take a few seconds for it to work. Um, we've got some basic universal cable and some normal universal cable. We've got some elite universal cable here, but I'm not at elite tier over here. So let's run this around here like this, like that, 
and then this should start making heavy water yes albeit quite slowly uh, so what we need to do is to get some mechanical pipe uh, because fluids use mechanical pipe up there like that good uh, this is slowly filling up with heavy water and then we need something called an electrolytic separator so let's um do we remember what it is we need to make a, an electrolytic separator? I think we do. It's this guy here, it's the electrolytic separator. So um, I think the only thing we're missing is an electrolytic core. Um, so let's quickly make a core before this thing craps out on us again. Nice, good. Uh, this fucking thing, it's doing my head in. Enough with your no power nonsense. Thank you, there we go, good. Right, so what we need to do is we need to bring this stuff uh, around the front, I think. Um, and then let's have a look quickly because I just need to double check something. Um, deuterium, it separates. Uh, so deuterium comes out the left, so that's pretty good. That's what we want. So deuterium is going to come out of this side, which is this side here. Uh, so we need another mechanical pipe. We can use this guy for the moment. That will bring that into there. What we need to do is to run some power up as well. So let's grab uh, our pick and let's just bash some stuff out of the way. And then let's run some power up through like here. Um, so some of this universal cable will do the trick nicely. So like this. And then around there like that. And that should start separating into deuterium, nice. Good stuff. Now uh, let's tidy this up just a little bit. So that's going to make the deuterium for us um, and it's also going to make the oxygen. We need to vent the oxygen or dump the excess oxygen I should say. Um, so that deuterium is, uh, that's all we need to do for that deuterium. All we need to do uh, to turn it into DT fuel is to put it into a chemical infuser um, which is fine. We can make a chemical infuser I believe. Uh, which is some basic gas tanks and, and some just some dynamic tanks and stuff like that. Um, so let's see about uh, the chemical infuser. Um, where were we? It was here. So let's see about this. Uh, we need some more alloys. And uh, we also need a couple of gas tanks as well. So let's make... Oh, this thing. This This is doing my head in. Right. Let me go back to home for a second. So we need to make a couple of these guys. So let's make some of these basic gas tanks. Uh, then let's get the chemical infuser. Should we should be able to do that one now. Nice. Um, and then I've got a list of machines here as well of the other things that I need to make. Um, so to make the lithium um, we're going to need a, a condensator, aren't we? A rotary condensator. I think that's the one. Yes. And that's just uh, a basic fluid tank, basic gas tank. Um, so let's make one of these. Nice. Um, and then maybe we can make this now. Just missing the energy tablet from the middle, which is this one. So let's make that. Nice. And now we should be able to make this guy. Nice. Rotary condensator. So uh, the deuterium is going to come out of here, then the chemical oxidizer, or sorry, the chemical infuser can go there. Now this is a gas, isn't it? So what we need is uh, some kind of gas pipe. So what we need is pressurized tube, isn't it? Yes, and the basic one's fine. So deuterium is going in there, good. Uh, we need to obviously give it a little bit of power. And we'll try and make it look reasonably, reasonably tidy. Um, we've got universal cable, basic, elite, elite. So they can go with that. Good. So let's come around here like that. Nice. So all that's really waiting for then is the tritium. And then the tritium was, uh, so we still need the solar neutron activator to turn the lithium into, yeah, we need the solar neutron activator, which is some reinforced alloy and some elite control circuits. So 
Still got no power on our bloody thing. Jesus Christ. Right, back home again, and we'll make our solar neutron activator. Uh, and we'll get the rest of our infrastructure ready for when our lithium is actually going to be ready. Uh, that sounds like a good to me. So we'll do that. We'll do that. Let's make our solar neutron activator. Um, so it was this one, and then... Actually, no, it was uh, this one. Uh, almost, almost. Let's have a look. I think the only thing we're missing is a couple of uh, little alloys. Uh, a couple of these elite control circuits, I think. So let's get a handful of those. Nice. There we go. One there, one there. Solar neutron activator. Now, I'm wondering whether this needs to be outside for it to work. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but let's get rid of some of this junk, and then I'll meet you back over at Closet Camera in a sec. Right, I'm going to take a risk and uh, set this up indoors. Um, and if if it becomes a problem, then I'll just take off a little bit of the roof for the moment. Uh, because we're going to set this up. We're going to get enough um, enough DT fuel to fill up two gas tanks, and then we'll probably never even use it again. So, you know, it is what it is. Now, it doesn't look like it. Maybe it does need the power. Maybe it does need the light. I'm not quite sure. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. Um, so, which way is fluid in for you, dude? Hmm. Have you got something underneath? Got anything underneath? Nope. Strange. Strange, strange, strange. Where does the uh, where does the liquid come out, or where does the gas come out? Okay, um, not quite sure. So it's going to have gas going in and then gas coming out because, yeah, this is classed as a gas because it's not got li a liquid prefix. Okay, we'll try and put the lithium in the front and then we'll see how we get on. Right, so the only thing we're really waiting for now is our brine from in here. So this should be empty of water, yes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to break the middle block of this. And then maybe that will reset it. And then we can have this set to in. But this is going to be set to insert. I want to extract off here. That will start filling that up. Good. That wasn't filling up before. These Enderio conduits seem a little bit buggy when it comes to this. Uh, but now this is filling up with brine, and it is also giving us liquid lithium. Oh, yeah. So what I want to do is uh, to take that liquid lithium out of there and bring all our stuff back online. I'm just going to use this. So extract always active. And then insert. And then this will fill up with liquid lithium. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So I run a trial in a test world of uh, making lithium the normal way doing this and it just took absolutely ages to me even get like four lithium. It was crazy. Um, so I think this is a bit faster. This is a bit faster and we're reusing the infrastructure that we've already got so that's pretty good. So what we'll do, we'll let all of that brine drain out of there. Uh, so we've got, you know, quite a lot in there. That will give us, I think, more than enough lithium actually. Uh, but once that drains out of there, then we can put this back online and have it making brine for our system again. For our uh, five times oil processing chain. Uh, so that would be pretty good. That's uh, it's going to process. And it's doing it at a fairly slow rate, but the, the heat's got to build up yet. It's still got a... It's only at, um, it's only at 390 Kelvin at the moment, so that'll take a few minutes for that to warm up properly. Uh, but what we can do is uh, we can drain some of this out of here. Um, so why don't we get um, something like um, an Enderio tank? Got an Enderio tank with nothing in it? Yes, I have there. Um, so let's do this. Let's get this out of here. And um, we'll wait for that one to fill up all the way to the top. Should that have enough in it? It's almost got enough in it to fill up our whole tank. Nice. 
So there we go, a whole tank full of liquid lithium. Um, so what we need to do is to hook this up to our condensator, which is going to turn it into normal lithium, which should then be able to be piped into there. Um, so if we get our uh, condensator from here, now this guy, uh, he's going to have to come onto. Well, where should we have him? Should we have him? Um, I, I think I want to turn this guy around. Let me turn you around. Uh, let's get rid of. Let's get rid of this guy for a sec. Thank you. Right. Uh, let's rotate this guy around. There we go, like that. Um, and then we can have these in a nice straight line, like that. Um, and then I think, I think little side or big side is in. Let's have this. Can you push into you? Can you? I don't think you can. No, you can't. Or do I just need to configure? There's no configurable ports. Uh, what about if I turn you around? How about now? No, still don't like it. Still doesn't like it. I don't think that's going to work. No. Uh, what we need to probably do is to push that into a pipe or something. So let's get rid of this. Let's put him there. Um, let's have this side set to push. Yes. Um, so it's liquid. So it needs to be a mechanical pipe, which is this guy. That should start going into there. There we go. So it's taking in the liquid lithium. Um, once we give it some power, it will create normal lithium. So we just need to get some power going to this. That's what we need to do is probably go downstairs and uh, get some get some of this stuff. Now, where is it going to be? That's a solar neutron activator, so this guy is going to be like here. Good. And then we can just run this along like that. Good. Okay, so how are we doing? This should start making lithium, yes. Lithium gas. And then the lithium gas comes out of a pressurized tube into there. Please. Hello. It needs to come in the bottom. Look at this. All right, let's turn this round. All right, let's get rid of this for a sec. Um, let's wrench those off because that's now full of deuterium, which is not what we wanted. We wanted deuterium to come out the front. So, um, the fluid has to be pumped into the bottom of this, which is a bit shit, because there's nothing on the bottom that says that's actually where the liquid goes. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, so the lithium is going to come out of the bottom here. And so we just need to come up. And that should start processing that into tritium. Yes, good. Good, good, good. And then that just needs to be pumped into here to make the DT fuel. Excellent. Uh, so what we can do is we can turn this guy around once more. Just hope it turns around this way and not that way. Let me just disable that for a sec. And let's rotate this guy. Like that. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Now look, DT fuel. Sweet. Right, so what we need to do is to run that out of there. Look at that, and then get a couple of gas tanks. Uh, not the creative ones, just the normal ones. Uh, so let's open up this. Let's go here. Let's make one. And two. Good. So one there, and then one, uh, well, not there. Let's get rid of these. Let's put them a little bit further away. Let's put them there and there. Uh, and then we need some pressurized tube. Like that. So this one will fill up first. 
Let's rotate you around. Like that, and then that should input that stuff into there. Are you going in now? Yes, good. Good, good, good. They're both filling up. Perfect. So this is slowly chugging its way through here. What we obviously need to do is to go and uh, run back and forth to fill up the lithium into here from, uh, from our thermal evaporation chamber over here. So how's this doing? It's got quite a lot. It's got 59,000 millibuckets. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough because I think these gas tanks need to be full up right to the top. So um, I need to maybe do another run and run some more brine through here. Uh, but that's okay. We can do that. What we need to do is to go like this and then have this as uh, extract. This is insert. And then let's get some more fluid pipes. Uh, so it's these ones around here, wasn't it? So mechanical pipes around there like that. Then that should start making the brine once again. Yes, good. Right, I just need to do that a couple more times. Um, I thought the brine, the brine to lithium ratio was going to be one to one, but it doesn't look like it was. Um, I think it made a lot less lithium than I thought it was going to make. Yes, so maybe I'll let this fill up all the way to the top with brine this time, and uh, then that should allow us to make enough lithium to make the uh, the two gas tanks that we need. Uh, but in terms of in, I mean, in terms of how much lithium that's actually making, or how much DT fuel that's making, sorry, from that little bit of lithium, I think you know these are doing all right actually. This one's got. Yeah, that one's got about two and a half buckets. That one's got about five and a half buckets. Uh, but in terms of our lithium, uh, we've got about eight buckets left in there. So yeah, we're going to need a little bit more. Uh, but this thing's not too bad. It's not too slow. Maybe it's a little bit slow. But there we go. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll carry on making that. And uh, I'll do that a couple more times. And then I, uh, that'll, I'll be back once that's done. Um, actually... Do I need to go back? We can let this we can let this run, and we can do something else actually, uh, because what I need to do is to fo start focusing on uh, the different bits and pieces. So uh, some of these other creative fluids. Now biodiesel. I need some elite fluid tanks. So let's go home, um, and we'll get some elite fluid tanks, and then we'll start filling those up with biodiesel because I put my biodiesel generators back up. Or rather, not the biodiesel generators themselves, but the um, they no power still. Thank you very much. Jesus Christ. This thing's doing my head. I don't know why it's behaving like this. What's going on with this? See, this should be fine. I mean, this doesn't even need to have the range on it. Maybe that's what's killing it. Maybe, uh, maybe it just can't get enough power into it. I'm not sure. I'll take those out. I'll take those out because they don't need to be in there. It's just a waste of RF. Um, so what we'll do is uh, we'll create a few of these elite fluid tanks. I wonder if I can make them from here. Can I make them from here? Uh, well, I need to make the ones for the centre first. Um, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach my system how to make these uh, because that is a pain in the ass type of recipe to do. So let's go like this, not like that. So that one, and then the next one up was this one, and we'll make one of those, and then the next one up was this one. So good, that's all three of those which will give us the elite fluid tanks, which is what we need. So let's put all of these in the um, molecular assembler. So now we can order how many of these do we actually need in total for our vending upgrade. Uh, so the creative fluid tank takes five each. Um, so we're going to need 10. So let's get 10 fluid tanks to order 10 of these. Nice. Um, so the first two, that one and that one, 
let's go back over to our factory, wherever the hell that is. Over this way. So this is where this is where we were producing biodiesel before, wasn't it? And and I've got it all switched back on now. I kind of recommissioned it all because I'd uh, I'd use these cloches for different things, um, and I've just been leaving it running. Um, and the upshot is is that our refinery has got a full buffer of uh, biodiesel, but it's only two thousand four hundred uh, millibuckets, so it's not going to be anywhere near enough to fill up these guys uh, because these are. 64,000 millibuckets each but let's get our other creative fluid tank or rather elite fluid tank here actually and uh, let's do this let's put these both here get some pressurized tube let's get rid of that and then onto here and then we can go extract on you always active and that will slowly start to fill those up. So insert, insert, nice. So they will slowly fill up and we'll leave those to just run for quite a while. I mean they're getting there aren't they? Yeah they're getting there. It's a bit more transparent than I was thinking it would be. I can see them slowly starting to fill up. And they're kind of bobbing up and down a little bit. Yeah, they're bobbing up and down. I don't get it. Very strange. But this is... Uh, these are both running at full tilt. Yes, good. Both running. And both getting power. Yeah, so that'll just take a little while to do. And um, that's fine. Uh, what we also need to make... Um, let's look at the next part of, uh, of the... Um, creative fluid tanks so uh, we've got the biodiesel going uh, we need to make vapor of levity as well um, and vapor of levity is a pain in my ass uh, because we need to go and uh, get the soul of a skulker as well um, so what we'll do is uh, we'll wrap up there I think uh, because uh, we've made a little bit of progress, not too much progress, but a little bit of progress uh, towards our creative ending upgrade. And then in the next episode, what we'll do is we'll come back and we will make some more of the creative fluids that we need to make. Uh, so I need to automate empowered canola uh, and I need to look at the uh, vapor of levity as well that we need to make. So quite a lot of that is required. Um, I'm not quite sure. I think for the... Um, for the skulker, I think we can just capture its soul and uh, and use that to create the um, the uh, is it grains of peasiality that you need? Let's quickly have a have a have a look. Vapor of levity require grains of peasiality and grains of prescience, which is a uh, prescient prescient crystal, which is a skulker or shulker, sorry, and a vibrant crystal. Yeah, that's fine. And then you grind it up. Yeah, so we're going to go and need to get a skull, a shulker. So I'm going to go and get a shulker now. Okay, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Apologise if I was a little bit down in the dumps. I'm not feeling too well, to be honest. I've got a bit of a cold. It's making me feel really ill. But hopefully, next episode, I'll be back to my old self. Okay, chums, I will see you guys next time.